We can write this as a single power if you break down 15 to 5 times 3. We spread the exponent love 6 here and here. So we have 5 to the 6 times 3 to the 6 over 3 to the 6. And these powers cancel. So the final answer is 5 to the 6. When we have the same base, let's subtract the exponents. The bases are the same, so let's equate the exponents. So x is equal to 10 minus 6, which is 4. Let's rewrite 8 as base 2, the lowest possible base. We have 2 cubed to the 3 minus 2x. Exponent bracket exponent, multiply. So 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times negative 2x is negative 6x. The bases are the same, and so must be the exponents. So we have x plus 1 equals 9 minus 6x. We throw the 6x over, so it becomes positive 6x. 7x equals 8, x equals 8 over 7. Let's exponentiate both sides to the reciprocal. Instead of 3 over 5, we raise both sides to the 5 over 3. Exponent bracket exponent, we multiply, and these reciprocals cancel out, leaving just x. So this here is the final answer. Let's clean up the insides first. You have the same base, so we subtract the numerator minus the denominator's power, exponent, x plus 3. And this whole expression is all cubed, equals 4. So we have base 2, negative 2x minus x is negative 3x, 1 minus 3 is minus 2. And we're going to multiply this with 3. So we have 2 to the negative 9x minus 6 equals 2 squared, which is 4. The bases are the same, and so we can equate the exponents. Negative 9x minus 6 equals 2. So therefore, 9x equals negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8. So x equals negative 8 over 9. When you see a decimal number, it's okay to rewrite as a fraction. 6 over 10 is the same thing as 3 over 5. So we have 3 over 5, x to the negative 1 puts the x on the denominator. And we have this whole thing all to the negative 2. And we're dividing by, we're dividing by this bottom part here which happens to be 2 cubed over x cubed. It's going to be 8 over x cubed. If we change this part here to a positive exponent, we flip the top and bottom. So this becomes 5x and 3. We're going to square the top and the bottom. And we get 5x squared is 25x squared over 9. 3 squared is 9. And we change this division sign to a multiplication if we switch top and bottom. And we simply multiply across. So we have 25x to the 5 all over 9 times 8, which is 72. Here we have negative 2 to the 100, which is a positive number, divided by a negative number. So the first term must be negative. We have 2 to the 100 divided by 2 to the 97, which is 2 to the 3, which is negative 8. Here we're adding 2 cubed, which is 8, to the negative 1 third. We multiply these. We have 2 to the negative 1, which means 1 over 2. 
all divided by 2, which is the same thing as multiplied by the reciprocal. So bed mass says we should multiply first. So what we have is 1 fourth positive added with negative 8, which is the same thing as negative 32. So the final answer is negative 31 over 4. Let's clean up the inside first. We have something to the negative 2 thirds. We have negative 16 divided by 2, which is negative 8, which is the same thing as negative 2 cubed. As for the x's, we have negative 2 plus 3, which is x to the 1 on the numerator. And we cancel out a y on the top and the bottom, and we have y squared on the bottom. And we're going to use distribution. We'll distribute the exponent top and bottom. And so what we have is we have negative 2 cubed multiplied by negative 2 thirds, so the 3's cancel out. So we have negative 2 to the negative 2. We have x to the negative 2 thirds. And on the denominator, we multiply these. We have y to the negative 4 thirds. So we like to have positive exponents. So why don't we continue and focus on this part here. Negative 2 to the negative 2 happens to be 1 over negative 2 squared, which is 1 over 4. So we put a 4 in the bottom. And we're sim simply going to switch the bottom and the top. So we have x to the 2 thirds here and y to the 4 over 3 here. Let's show that this expression is true. Left side is equals to x to the a, all to the 1 over b. As for the right side, the right side is equals to x to the 1 over b. This means the bth root of x, all to the a. We multiply the exponents. So the left side is equals to x to the a over b. And the right side, when you multiply it, is x to the a over b. Indeed, the left side equals right side.